In this lesson, we'll be creating a distributed design. After completing this lesson, you'll be able to demonstrate how to create a derived part and create a distributed design. For this lesson, we want to start by uploading the supplied files, soft draw fixture, and multi-axis multiple setups. The multi-axis multiple setups file is the one that we programmed earlier in this course. And while we took a look at multi-axis positioning toolpaths to machine this part, we still need to take care of actually machining the geometry so it can be held in this fixture, as well as creating the soft jaws and machining it from the backside to finish the part. So in this lesson, we're going to start talking about how we can create the geometry we need inside of our soft jaws. And we're going to do that by first navigating to the design workspace inside of our multi-axis multiple setups part. Inside of here, we have a component called Link. I'm going to select Link, and from the Create dropdown, select Derive. We can take this file, and we can add it to an existing design. This is where it gets a little tricky, because if we're adding this part to an existing design, in this case, our soft draw fixture, what ends up happening is we create a link between the files. And ultimately, we want the soft draw fixture to be back in this file for machining. So in order to do this and just understand the process, we're going to create a new design and select OK. The new design is going to contain just the link. If we want to remove the link between this and the multi-axis multiple setups file, we can right click on it and select break link. We're going to select OK to break that reference. And now we have the file that contains this link without any other outstanding references back to the original file. Now, the workflow in our specific case makes more sense for us to insert the soft draw fixture into the multi-axis multiple setups file. But I do think it's important that we understand different ways in which we can extract these files and work with them. So the derived file now has just the link in it. It doesn't contain all the other components in our assembly. In order to keep this, we would have to save it and place it in our data panel. But again, we're just looking at the workflow of creating this derived file. And ultimately, what we want to do is create a distributed design where the soft jaw is placed into the assembly that contains our part. So as we're looking at this, we have our original stock, which has this feature on the bottom, so it can be held in our fixture assembly. The soft jaws will need to hold the part in the same orientation as our stock prep fixture. So if we think about our stock prep fixture as the location of our soft jaw fixture, we can use this as our reference point. So I'm going to hide our fixture assembly and I'm going to hide our stock for now, but keep our link and our stock prep fixture in place. Then I'm going to take the soft draw fixture and drag and drop it onto the screen. When I drag and drop it into the canvas area, I want to note a few things. The first of which is the positioning. The way that this was created in its original file, it's positioned in a good spot for us to keep it in this file as is. We do want to make sure that we turn on the original stock and make sure that we have enough geometry above the soft jaw. So you can see here that we're holding this part about the midline of the arc, and we're going to be able to get to the backside and machine off all the rest of the geometry. So everything looks okay here in terms of positioning, so I'm going to say okay. Then I'm going to right click on the soft jaw fixture and I'm going to ground it. Because right now everything looks okay in terms of its position and location. I can hide the stock prep fixture and just have the soft jaw fixture in the link. So that way I can create the soft jaws I need to hold this part and finish off the machining operations. From here, I'm going to rotate this around and I'm going to save the file before moving on to the next step. 